What's up everybody, uh, back with another video for you guys. This is of the Smart Things and Arlo app combined as one. Um, pretty much what I wanted to do is set up my phone and my wife's phone as present sensors. So as we come and leave, it would arm and disarm not only our Smart Things uh, alarm set, but our Arlo cameras. Um, I had gotten the uh, uh, present sensor like this because I was worried about draining my battery on my phone. Um, but the thing is with the present sensor is you'd have to like stick outside the house for maybe like 30 seconds before it would pick up um, the signal and then do its thing to turn off everything, which was getting kind of annoying that way. The phone is a sensor. As I'm coming down the street, I have a, a bigger radius set and it's able to pick up right away and instantly turn off and on uh, all my settings, which is better and tweaked a bunch of settings on my phone and it actually does not affect the battery life whatsoever, which is amazing. Um, so this was a little easier to do. I actually originally had this set up before I got my present sensor and then I switched over to the present sensor and then SmartThings changed a bunch of options and things got a little bit complicated and it's there's no instructional video on how to do this properly online so i figured i'd do one uh there is a couple form posts how to do it but again they're not completely clear um so here you go you're gonna first install your smart things you're gonna install your install your arm arlo excuse me uh which there are plenty of videos on how to do that um and it's pretty easy in smart things setting up your you know you go to um hold on one second um, marketplace, you go to things, then you go uh, cameras and Netgear Arlo wire free cameras. Um, and then you go through the whole setup, uh, which that's self explanatory and pretty easy to find on how to do if you can't. Uh, one thing you need to know is that it only works with the wireless cameras, it does not work with the Arlo Q, which I have right there. And the Q kind of becomes a little bit useless for me now because I have to manually go in to Arlo to set it on and off, which is kind of what I wanted to avoid in the first place. And that's why I did this, this setup the way it is now. So uh, anyways, once you have that all set up, you're going to see your Arlo. Um, it's going to go like this. In your mode, what's going to happen is there's going to be a smart things tab. And this is all going to be all your cameras that you have are going to be listed here and you're going to set them up in every which way that you want. Um, I have all mine set to when motion is detected, record video, push notifications for 30 seconds. Uh, you know, obviously trying to get the best amount of time for the battery that that's possible. I'd like a minute, but again, it's going to start draining the battery a little bit more of my cameras if that happens. Um, so that I found I found 30 seconds to be enough for me. Um, what you're also going to want to do is in your devices, you're going to turn all your cameras off because smart things will automatically turn the cameras on and off, uh, depending on the mode that they're in. So turn them off this way. They're, they're inactive when your smart things alarm is set to disarmed in your home, the cameras are completely off. They're not using uh, motion sensing. You're saving as much battery as possible. So you're going to want to do that, uh, first step. Now, the old way to do this was pretty simple. Um, it was in the routines. So uh, now you're gonna have to do an extra step. Um, in the I'm back uh, routine, which is when either my present sensor or my wife's present sensor is sensed to be coming home, this will automatically get triggered. Um, and you'll see, here's the options. I have all the cameras set. It will set it to disarm, it's set into home mode, and it goes to automatically disable when someone arrives, both of our, our iPhones. So that's the setup in there that you're gonna need. Um, what else? I got push notifications on so that I know that someone arrives and that things get disarmed. Um, goodbye mode to arm your Arlo cameras, again, what do you want to do? You're going to turn on these lights or switches. You're going to select all the cameras that you want. Uh, you make sure that the smart alarm home is set to armed, that it changes mode to away, and this is when everyone leaves. So when both our phones 
uh, are away from the house, this will automatically trigger and turn it off. Or sorry, it'll arm it and turn it on. Uh, so that's where you're gonna want those settings to be for both I'm back and goodbye. Now the tricky part where it doesn't tell you what to do is right here. On the main screen, you're gonna go to um, Smart Home, you're gonna go Options, and you're gonna add a custom option. Uh, so this, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to every time for each camera that you have, you're gonna wanna do a new monitor monitoring rule. So you click new monitoring rule, and I'll just show you actually what the settings gonna be like on here. Um, so I set my backyard motion, what sensor do you want to use? I'm going to use uh, my motion sensor and my backyard. And what's going to happen, it's going to go into night mode and away mode that those cameras will automatically arm and disarm. So as soon as I put in night mode when we go to bed, as soon as we leave the house, it goes away mode, this camera is going to record by itself. The reason why you have to do this is if you don't do this, what's going to happen is that when someone passes in front of one of your cameras, it'll trigger all your cameras to record, which is something I really didn't want because if uh, someone's gonna walk in my backyard, I don't need my camera that's in my entrance to start recording and wasting battery space, or wasting battery. Uh, I only want my backyard to record. And that's what before what was happening is that once something was triggered, all of a sudden, all the cameras would start recording. So you're going to have to do, for each of your cameras, you're going to have to set up a, a specific motion, um, sorry, a specific uh, custom thing here that I'm showing you. Um, and then my wife's, I don't know why I said this one. Uh, this was just to notify uh, when she leaves and comes home. But that pretty much is the way you're going to have to set it up uh, if you want your Arlo camera to arm and disarm automatically alongside with your smart things when you leave and come home. Uh, it might sound a little complicated, but just follow, make sure all these settings are exactly the way that I just showed you, and it should be no problem at all. Uh, it works absolutely flawlessly. It sets my, my cameras automatically on. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, yeah, so if you need any other help, if it doesn't work, let me know. Uh, you could just leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section, and I can help point you in the right direction. But make sure all those settings are exactly like you just saw, and you should be good to go. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, hopefully, you'll get to see a lot more tech gadgets. Like I got a little tracker thing here that I'd like to do a, a review on, um, and. Uh, yeah, just uh, trying to stay to doing different stuff that I I can't find on the internet. Um, little like how tos and in the tech gadget world. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, hope this helps you. Bye.